everyone, and welcome to the first newscast of 2022. Happy New Year, everyone. My name is Sam Healy, and in these videos, we tell you all of the latest news about our projects, as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, I'll be scheduling my two videos today for later this week on Thursday and Friday. So be on the lookout for those and make plans now to be there. Not doing them over the past two weeks while restful was a bit awkward, so I'm looking forward to getting back to a bit of normal. JT and I have recorded part one of the final level four Darkest Dungeon journey over the break. So I'll be working on editing that footage and he and I will try to shoot the final video soon. Now we don't have a lot of updates this week, but let's get to what news I do have for you today. For Joan of Arc this week, we just have a couple bits of shipping and fulfillment news for you. First, Meeple Logistics has reported that they have received the final containers of product and are currently processing and doing inventory on all of it. Once that step is complete, the remaining orders will be shipping out. Second, this information also includes the hub transfer orders that we had to allow for, meaning that those Irish pledges will be on the way soon. For our UK backers, serviced by Spiral Galaxy, the expected arrival date of that final container is January 10th. For our Canadian backers, your pledges have been sent to Fuelex Canada, so as soon as they get through customs, I'm sure you'll be receiving emails concerning them as well. For Solomon Kane Wave 2 today, everything is on the boats and en route to the various hubs worldwide at this point. Referencing our last update on December 22nd, we asked that if you needed to change your address for your Wave 1 product fulfillment, you'll need to send it again for Wave 2. The reason for this is because we may not be able to pull the address change requests that have already occurred back from our hubs. There was a December 29th deadline on this request, so if you missed that announcement on the Kickstarter page, please contact our support team as soon as possible at support at mythicgames.net. Please do so even if you didn't order any Wave 2 product, because errata packs are also being sent out now too. So everyone who had to request an address change for Wave 1 has a reason to make sure we have your correct address for Wave 2. For Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2 this week, product has been loaded into containers for Spiral Galaxy and our UK backers, VR Distribution and our Australia and New Zealand backers, and for local pickup by January 10th for our backers serviced by VFI Asia. For Spiral Galaxy and VR Distribution, the product has also been loaded onto boats for shipment. We don't currently have any estimated departure or arrival dates, but we'll share that information as soon as it's given to us. For our North American and European backers, the latest update that we have is, is that getting your product into containers is being worked on. I apologize for the vagueness of that information, but it's all we can do at this point until we're told something a bit more concrete. For Steam Watchers this week, just a brief note to mention that it has been reported that all backers and eShop orders have been shipped out by our hubs. Additionally, except for a few orders that our fulfillment manager is having difficulty working with our hubs on, all retailer orders have also sh been shipped too. If you find yourself in one of those categories and you've not received your copy, please contact support at mythicgames.net. If you're a retailer, please feel free to contact our retail at mythicgames.net address for any questions or concerns. Finally, it's with great pleasure that I get to remind you of the first project launch of the year for Mythic Games, Rise of the Necromancers on GameFound. This is the next installment in our Phoenix line of games and will be a collaboration with Sore Loser Games. This new collaboration will offer not only the core game and previously available expansion Dawn and Demons, but it will also include a new expansion, Undead Sea, and more than enough of the mythicifying of many components. Back on December 22nd, we released an article on our website and on Facebook that talked a bit about what the Phoenix Line is and gave a general overview of Rise of the Necromancers. Check it out at mythicgames.net and you'll be able to find the link in the description below. 
At any rate, we hope to see you on GameFound on January 11th for the launch of this great collaboration. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or if you just want to see what wonders he might be able to show. As I'm showing you now, he's already posted an image full of Easter eggs for upcoming projects this year, so you never know what Leo's going to do. As mentioned earlier, I'll be back to normal this week for my other two videos, so be on the lookout for those on Thursday and Friday. That's it for today, though. Once again, Happy New Year, everyone. Stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care. <laughs>